You see, God has a formula. God has a methodology, the way he does things, right? Anytime there is a challenge with a generation, what he does is he puts a baby in the womb. Track with me. God's agent for change has always been men. So Moses, he puts a baby, what? In the womb. Daniel, he puts a baby, what? In the womb. Nehemiah, he puts a baby in the womb. Esther, baby in the womb. Samson, baby in the womb. Ultimately to Jesus, baby in the what? In the womb, the ultimate savior. And so you are an answer to a specific problem. You just may not know it. See, life. One day as I was pondering over this, God began to whisper and, and, and begin to teach me that, you know, in the Old Testament, Isaac was the only promised son. Track with me. But in the New Testament, so that we are all promised what? Sons. Sons just means children of God. And so every one of us, we are a promised son just like Isaac was. Isaac was. And so you are God's promise. You are God's promise. And God always gives his best. The Bible said that he gave things. He gave everything to the other children. But for Isaac, he gave him all. What is God's all? It's God's best. God's best is the power of the Holy Spirit. God's best is his spirit. That's all he has for you. God's best. Because in that spirit is everything you need. The power to be and the power to do. So even though it was not in them, it was a spirit imparted upon them in the Old Testament, they could literally get everything back. Whether we call it the blessing, the anointing, or the power. That is what he gave what? Isaac. So in the New Testament, when we come, we see that Acts 2.39, the promise is for you and for your children and for all those who are far off. Everybody who accepts Christ and comes into what? Into, into Christ. 